Hi, I'm Marcy, and I'm so excited you came to play with me today in my playroom. Today, we're going to be playing with kittens and mittens. I don't have any real kitty cats in my playroom, but I have a lot of fun toys to play with, and I have my imagination. So today, inside our class, we'll talk about kittens and mittens. Wow, did you listen? That sounds the same. Do you know when something sounds the same, it's called a rhyme. Can you think of something else that sounds the same? Hmm, I know. How about head and bed? That sounds the same. That's a rhyme. Hmm, what else? Can you think of two words that sound the same? How about nose? and toes. You're right, that does sound the same. And one more I can think of is love and glove. Glove is something else that you use on your hands to keep them warm in the winter time. And I have some of those in my classroom too. Come on inside and we'll see what we have to play with today. Hello everybody. in my sensory table today. I like to call it my touchy tub because there's always really cool things to touch and feel inside. Today, I have lots and lots of very soft yarn. Mittens are made of yarn. Kitties are really soft too. And look, I want to show you. Here is a mitten. Do you know what color this one is? You're right, it's red. And look, here is a glove. Look at the difference. The glove has fingers, a place for all your fingers to go. And the bitten just has one big thumb hole. When you want to put on a mitten, you have to put your fingers tight and stretch, stretch, stretch your thumb in. Hello, hello. But when you put on a glove, you have to stretch open your five fingers. Hey, you know what? Let's count them up. I'm gonna take my mitten off. One, two, three, four, five. Did you do it with me? You have five fingers. Put them inside a mitten and then you have to wiggle, 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 wiggle your fingers and look. All the finger holes are filled with my five fingers. That's so fun. Well, you know what? I want to play a game with you. Can you see if you can find two gloves that are the same? Hmm. Look around, look around, let's see. Hmm. The same. I see an orange one. And look way over here, I see another orange one. That's called a pear. A pear is two of the same. Let's try to find another pear. Hmm, I'll put this one right here. Look around, look around. I'm gonna dig, 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 dig. Oh, wow. Oh, I see one over here. Look, this one's called a what? You're right. This one's called a mitten because it just has one place for your thumb. And if I look, 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 here's one that looks the same. Two of the same. That's a pair. Wow, let's do it one more time because it's such a fun game. Let's look around, look around. I'm going to dig through my soft, soft yarn. Oh, look, here's a big red mitten. And remember I showed you the red mitten to start? That's a pair. They're the same. 
wow, you're really good at finding things that look the same. Maybe you can look around your house and see if you can find a pair of something in your house. You don't have to go very far because guess what? You have a pair on your body. You have a pair of hands, don't you? What else do you have a pair of? Hmm, I know. You have a pair of eyes. And think of something else. What else do you have a pair of? I know. How many ears do you have? Two, look. One, two. That's called a pair of ears. That's a fun game too. See if you can find some other things that are pairs. You guess what's in my bag? You want to open it and see? Let's do it. Here we go. Ooh, you know what? Oh, it's heavy. I'm going to shake out some puppets. Wow. You know what? Let's look and see if we can find a kitty. And I want to sing Old MacDonald with you. Look, look, look. Did you see a kitty cat yet? Oh, I see a doggy. I see a lion. Here's another doggy. Did you find the kitty? <gasps> Look, there he is. Did you see him? Let's sing Old MacDonald together. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on the farm he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow, meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Let's do another one. How about the dog? And on the farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O. With a roof, roof here and a roof, roof there. Here a roof, there a roof everywhere. Roof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And let's do one more. <gasps> Look, do you know what this is? Hmm, might be a little bit tricky. It's an owl with a hoot hoot here and a hoot hoot there. Here a hoot, there a hoot, everywhere. Hoot hoot, old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Wow, that was so much fun. I hope you had fun singing with me. Do you know who lives in my basket? It's Mr. Spider. And he's been sleeping waiting for you to come play with him. We need to wake him up. But let's do teamwork. That means we'll do it together. Let's count to three and we'll shout out, wake up, Mr. Spider. Let's see if we can get him up. Here we go. One, two, three. Come on. Wake up, Mr. Spider. Oh, guess what? I see my basket starting to move. I think he's coming out. He wants to sing his spider song with you. Will you help him sing it too? Here we go. The eensy weensy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the eensy weensy spider went up the spout again. Do you know what my spider loves to do? He loves to give kisses. Would you like a kiss? I think you do. Get ready. Here he comes. He's going to give you one. Oh, did you get it? Do you know what my letter of the week is today? Let's look and see. Oh, look. Does anyone 
know what letter this is? It goes up, down, up, down. It's called M. And you know what? That's my letter. M is for Marcy. And M is for some other things too. I'm going to put it right up on my door. Let's see what else starts with M that's in my letter bag. Well, I chose M because this starts with M. Do you know what it is? It's a... You're right, it's a mitten. Here we go. M is for Marcy and M is for mitten. And M is for something else too. He's a silly little animal you might find at a zoo. <gasps> Do you know what it is? It's a monkey. Monkey starts with M. And do you know what? There's one more special person who starts with M. Mommy. Mommy starts with M too. So let's review. Here we go. M is for Marcy and Mitten and Monkey. Wow, there's a lot of things that start with M. Maybe Mommy can help you think of a few more. It's time to see what kind of day it is outside today. You know what? I'm going to get my bugle out. Let's see. Ooh, it's in my pocket. I got to wiggle it out. It's a little bit stuck. <gasps> Ta-da! Here it is. Do you have one? I bet you do. Put your hands like this. Let's go. It's time to see what kind of day it is outside today. I'm going to put on my weather goggles. Take your fingers and make two circles. Ooh, I'm looking out my window. What do I see? What does it look like where you live? Well, I see a cloudy day. I'm going to knock on my door and open up my door and we're going to dress Mr. Weather Bear. Look, oh silly Weather Bear, he's already got his mittens on. It might be a little bit cold where I live too because you only need mittens if where you live is very cold outside. So let's put up a cloud because it's a cloudy day at where Marcy lives and it's cold outside. So Mr. Weather Bear is going to need a coat. There you go, Mr. Weather Bear. Do you need a coat where you live? Or is it nice and warm? I think where Mr. Weather Bear is going to need some shoes because he wants to go play in his playground. So there you go, Mr. Weather Bear. Now he has mittens, a coat, and shoes. And he can go out and play on a cloudy day. He's so happy you came to play with him today. I have a little nursery rhyme I want to share with you. Look what we have. One, two, three kittens. And it goes like this. The three little kittens, they lost their mittens and they began to cry. Oh, mother dear, we sadly fear our mittens we have lost. So they looked and they looked and they looked and guess what? The three little kittens, they found their mittens and they began to sigh. Oh mother dear, oh mother dear, our mittens we have found. And look, do you remember we talked about pears? They each have a pair of mittens. We'll put them right back on because they found them. There we go. Did you ever lose something that made you very sad? I did. And I looked and I looked and I had to wait a long time. And you know what? Finally, I found it. And it made me so happy. I think these kitties are really happy they found their mittens. And their little paws are going to be warm too. 
Thanks for helping me find them. I want to play a fun game with you today. We need to use our imagination. You know what the best thing about imagination is? You bring it with you wherever you go. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to get down really little and pretend to be a kitty cat. Come on, let's get down with me. Here we go. Get down really little, little like this. The kitties are in the sunshine, lying down and sleeping. Thunder! Lightning! Psh! They all jump up. What's the kitty say? You're right. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, that was so fun. Let's do it again. What kind of animals should we be? That's right, that's a great idea. Let's be a doggy. Okay, here we go. Let's get down really little, little, little. Hide your eyes. The dogs are in the dog house, lying down and sleeping. Thunder! Lightning! Psh! They all jump up. And what's the doggy say? <gasps> You're right. <gasps> ruff, 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 ruff. Oh boy, we have time to do one more. What should we be? Oh, that's a great idea. Let's be a horse, of course. Let's get down really little, little. Here we go. <gasps> the horses are in the barn, lying down and sleeping. Thunder! Lightning! Psh! They all jump up. What's a horse say? No! Wow, that was so fun. Maybe you could think of some more animals to play with that game with mommy or daddy. Have a great time. I have one of my favorite books I want to share with you today. It's called Counting with Marcy and Fred. Let's practice counting to 10. And you know why I chose this book? Because inside there's a picture of two kittens and their mittens. Can you find it? Let's see, let's look inside. Here we go. Let's start with number one. One, one little baby sitting, sitting on a lady, lady laughing while the chick at its head. One, two, two furry kittens, kittens putting on their mittens, playing with a boy named Fred. Three tiny bunnies all looking at the funnies, four gigantic pigs, oink. Five blue gorillas, six green chinchillas, dancing with the silly kids. Seven red monkeys, looking kind of funky, eight pink elephants. Nine yellow puppies, jumping over guppies, I can count to ten. Let's do it! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then comes eight, nine, ten. Counting's fun, but I guess we're not done. Let's do the middle again. Seven red monkeys looking kind of funky. Eight pink elephants. Nine yellow puppies jumping over guppies. I can count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then comes eight, nine, ten. Counting is fun, but I guess we're done now. Counting with Marcy and Fred. I told you that was so much fun. Did you practice counting along with me? Oh, I'm so excited. Well, that was a great job. It's time to say goodbye. I had so much fun playing with you today. I hope you had fun playing with me too. I'm talking about kittens and mittens. We learned so many things together, didn't we? We learned about rhymes. That's when two words sound the same. And we learned about pairs. That's when two things look the same. Well, I had so much fun and I promise we'll have fun the next time too. And don't forget moms, if you want the directions to any of our fun activities or creative snacks, stay tuned. I had so much fun with you guys. See you next time. Goodbye. We're sad.
glad to see you go. Goodbye. We just want to know. We had fun. We shared good times. We shared all smiles. But now it's over. So oh, goodbye. We're sad to see you go. Maybe time is over now, but you'll be back again. We have two art projects for this week. First, I have a pair of mittens, because we talked a lot about pairs in class. So I have a pair of red mittens, and I just cut up a whole bunch of different color yarn. Yarn is pretty inexpensive. You can get it on sale, especially if you're looking just for one skein. You might even have some leftovers from projects you did. So cut it up into small little pieces, and I like to use a glue stick. It's a lot less messy than glue. Young children tend to just paint with glue and it's not something you really want to get involved with at home. So just have your children, if they're capable, rub some glue on their mittens and then just stick whatever colors they want like this. This is a really nice texture craft because they're really soft and they're using their fingers. They're learning creativity, eye hand coordination. It's actually a two-step process. So it takes a little bit more patience than just a one-step process and a little bit more planning. If you don't want to do the mittens or you want to do two things, you can also cut out a little simple piece of construction paper into a kitty shape and do the very same thing. Only this time I got some uh, soft gray fur and just some simple felt in different colors. Uh, felt is really inexpensive, so you might want to go and buy a few, uh, a few pieces in different colors and keep it in the house for different projects. I love these, these furs that you can get at a fabric store. Um, they come in all different colors, uh, anything from brown and gray to a tiger print, um, and they're really fun and realistic for little ones. If you have a very young child and glue is not something that you want to do because they're still putting it in their mouth, I want to show you this because this is really fun and simple. So I'm going to move these over here. This is a roll of clear contact. It's inexpensive and you usually can find it in a market, but definitely like a Target um, or any sort of discount uh, home supply type of store. Roll out your um, to the size that you want, roll out your clear contact paper, and then I took this piece right here. The thing that you need to do is make sure you put the sticky side up. That's different than when you use it for other things. So peel it back, and this is good even just for a little one, even an infant. I like to tape it down. So if you had a really little one, you could tape it down to their high chair or a kitchen table. So I'm going to tape it down like this. Here we go. Of course, I'm using clear tape because I don't want my design to get ruined. I want them still to be able to see the kitty underneath. And I would tape all edges and it's sticky. This is a really nice way for little children to feel sticky without getting messy. And then you can do the same thing. You could draw a picture of a mitten under there or a picture of a, a kitty cat and then just have them put either the yarn on top or if it's a kitty cat picture, the animal fur on top, either one. But it's a really nice, very clean way for kids to experience sticky as well as being able to make uh, a project with the sensory um, materials that the glue provides. And Marcy and me, we love to play with our food. So I purchased two inexpensive little cookie cutters. I have a kitty cat, and believe it or not, a large mitten. So you can make anything with these. You could use your mitten on bread. You can use it on French toast. I um, am gonna use my kitty cat on a slice of cheese to make a kitten shape because I feel like kids will definitely eat more when it's something fun and a shape they recognize. There you go. You can make a little kitty sandwich if you want, or a kitty grilled cheese. Uh, with the mitten, you can 
cut out a piece of bread and make a mitten sandwich. I even like the idea of using a little cream cheese on the mitten so it would look like some pretend snow maybe, like this. And then you can decorate your mitten any way you want. You might even suggest to your kids that they make a pair. Tie in that pair concept that we've been working on. Two of the same. So you can put on that. Um, some suggestions, anything works, but I have some raisins. You could put a little raisin band over here like this. Uh, you can also use grape jelly to decorate your mitten. You can also use some little sprinkles to look like sparkly snow if you'd like. So anyhow, mitten sandwiches or a kitty cheese makes eating a lot of fun. You might have seen the kids using this bucket of mittens in class. And basically what I did was I took either pairs of old mittens or if you have lost mittens, singles, this is a great thing to do with your singles at the end of the season. I just got fabric scraps with a variety of different textures and I made these little texture mittens for them to explore. So this one has sandpaper, which is really rough and scratchy, of course. This one just has a smooth suede. Um, this one's a little short piece of corduroy. This one is like a bumpy sort of texture, um, smooth and shiny. Anything that you can think of to give your children a variety of um, sensory experiences. This is a small piece of burlap. So what you'll need to do these is obviously mittens and um, a good scissors to cut out your fabric. And the glue gun works the best. It will take you such a short time if you just use a little glue gun to glue these on. If you don't have mittens or if you live in a warm part of the country and they're not even accessible to buy, you can certainly make a mitten shape really easily. All you really need to do is take um, a piece of felt, any color that you want. Of course, put your hand or you might even ask your child to participate and have your child um, do this activity. Lay their hand down and then just trace your hand all the way around and there you go. You've got your mitten shape and then you can cut it out and then add on your fabric. Um, try to do two of the same uh, so that you can make a pair and I would uh, suggest doing you know a few different sets of different colors so you can bring in the color activity as well. Well have fun!